The Kingdom of Bahrain is considered one of the island regions with unique rich ecosystems and wide biodiversity range. Despite its location in an arid dry region, Bahrain has been blessed by plenty of fresh underground waters, natural springs and valuable marine resources, all of which lead to this country to be the land where ancient civilizations flourished for thousands and thousands of years. The Kingdom of Bahrain is exerting tremendous efforts to protect and preserve the environment and natural resources. Since its establishment, the Supreme Council for the Environment has been working to maintain the significant strides made by the Kingdom in environmental fields. Coastal and marine environments in Bahrain are characterized by a variety of habitats, including seagrass, beds, coral reefs, and mangroves that support some of the most endangered species. I think we've been successfully um, made an effort on the plantations of mangroves in Bahrain. We've done a new technology by trial and error to use the seeds to transplant mangroves. Now we do have three nurseries. We're producing around 10,000 tree a year of mangroves. And this is a successful story for Bahrain to transplant mangroves from the scratch. Given the importance of marine environment, a tourist park was established in Arad Bay Reserve and was opened in 2010. The park includes the largest public walkway in the Kingdom of Bahrain, with a total area of up to more than half a square kilometer. Arad Bay is one of the most important coastal mangrove reserves in Bahrain. The mangrove trees have been planted in a thoughtful way in order to enhance the cohesion of the soil and provide a safe haven for small fish. So one of the ecosystems that's naturally present in Bahrain is the mangrove forest. However, today they can only be found naturally in Tubli Bay, with the largest aggregation in Ras Senet. The mangrove forest itself is home to one species of mangrove called Avicennia marina, or more commonly known as black mangrove. Um, and so to promote or restore this environment back in Bahrain, the mangrove planting project was initiated in 2013, where in that year alone, 1,500 mangrove saplings were transplanted in Tubli Bay and Arad Bay. And as I said, the ones in Tubli Bay naturally grow there. However, the ones in Arad Bay were manually transplanted. And the way that works is by first collecting seeds, for example, from Ras Senet, and then potting them and planting them in any of the plant nurseries that we have, like Tubli Plant Nursery, which is where we're at right now, and then transplanting them in any of the locations that we have in Bahrain that can sustain mangrove growth, like Arad Bay, Ras Hayyan, and Jaram Islands. So yeah, fast forwarding to 2016 when the project started to get more traction and expand. The first self-irrigation nursery was built in Ras Senad, which became a catalyst for the, product, for the transplanting of mangrove saplings. And after that, the project continued and continues to grow to this day with the collaboration of several national entities, where we've seen an increase in the area of mangrove cover, specifically in Arad Bay, and an overall healthy condition of mangroves in Ras Senet. Millions of small and microorganisms that are important for the marine environment live in the sands of this protected marine sanctuary. Mangroves are of extreme value to islands such as Bahrain as they stabilize the coastline, reduce erosion from storm surges, currents, waves, and tides, in addition to providing protection to fish and other organisms seeking food and shelter from predators. I think our knowledge has been grown for the past few years since we started by 2013. Now we're managing uh, the nursery of Babku. Now we're developing a new nursery for 8,000 plants and Ras Senet. And this is, will continue to do the plantations using the nurseries to increase the number of mangroves on the shores of Bahrain. Music